What's up, YouTube? Chevy R. right here, back with another video. Um, so I put a video out about me getting the E-Fans for the Silverado and the Suburban. Um, I got the harness from Nelson in um, Thursday, and today, no, I got it in Wednesday. Today is Friday the 20th. And I was looking on the Facebook group, the GMT 400 group that I'm part of, or the 88 to 98 uh, GM crew cab group about the alternator swap. So the reason why I was swapping the alternator was because uh, I'm going to go with E-Fans in here and I might use the NBS fans and the guys that have the NBS fans, they pull a ton of air and I don't want to have a voltage problem. So um, this alternator right here is new. I got that from Napa, part number 1N, as in Nancy, 1N4812. This is off of a 2001 Suburban uh, you can try to find it for a, 01, I mean, a 2000 Tahoe or 01 Tahoe, whatever one, but it's a direct drop in. So what I had to do basically was, you know, pull the old one out and the plug for it back here is the same plug, one wire plug for it. No issue. I had to uh, unbolt this and move it over a little bit just to fit this in there because the case is, this is an 8244 case. Drop right in there and got a new belt for it also. I'm going to give you the part numbers to do this swap also if you want to have a higher output alternator other than the 105 or the 124 that they sell. Okay, so the part number is for the alternator is um, 1N4812. Okay, the belt you need is this belt right here. Okay, I got this from Napa. I paid $243.54 for everything out the door. Uh, that is the belt. This is the alternator that you need. It is the same one off of a 2001 Chevy Suburban. It's a 145 amp alternator. Okay. Um, I still have the old one. I think it's back here. Oh, it's over there in the corner. There, there, right there. I have the old one, but um, so far um, I had a I had an issue with like uh, if I. If I cut the AC on, I notice like like the dash lights would dim a little bit until it kick, pick back up. Or uh, if I use the power windows, or whatever, or the power the power sunroof or the power sliding window in the back, both will drop. Or I have like the um, the the dim headlights for a second; they'll come back up. So this should fix the problem. If it doesn't fix the problem, then uh, well, no, actually, it did fix the problem. So my next thing, I'm gonna clean up all these wires. All this back here is going to be cleaned up. Clean these up also back here for the grounds. I'm going to run, um, I'll probably run, run dual batteries in this truck. Probably get another uh, uh, Ultima gel battery and stick it over here. So run dual batteries in it. I'm going to bridge them together. Um, I'm going to make new grounds and, and uh, everything for it. I'm going to call it a day. So this is the 8244 swap. Like I said, 145 amp alternator. I love it. Um, I put about 30 or 40 miles on the truck so far, so I put it in about mm, an hour ago, maybe, or something like that. I don't remember. But let's see. Let's go ahead and start it up right quick. See, before, before my battery was like, like right about about there about there and this battery did die not this one but I had another uh, one that died I left my lights on in the cab overnight so when AutoZone swapped it I got another battery no big deal so um this should be oh shit this should be better I noticed also my music for some reason it seemed like, like the bass is hitting a little bit better it could be my imagination but and no problem with it. Is all clip for you guys? Still got the Dynamax bullet muffler on there still. Um, I'm gonna be swapping, well not swapping, I'm gonna be putting one also on the Suburban, cause I just fucking love them now. Uh, before I used to hate them, oh shit. Now I just love them now. Um, so tomorrow is the 21st of July. Um, 
I'm going to a tuner shop up here in Sacramento to get the E-Fans activated on the Suburban. And I'll probably put those in maybe Sunday, maybe Saturday when it cools down. It doesn't seem like it's a, it's a long process. So I'll put those in and um, call it a day. Then I got a guy to wire up these fans, uh, the MBS fans for this truck. I got to cut the um, cut the bezel for everything, not the bezel, but the fan trout. Because the ears on them, you know, off the MBS ones, the ears stick up on them, both to the uh, for support. Cut those off. Mount them in here some kind of way. Um, or I might sell them and just get um, some regular, uh, I think it's a company called KKS or KSK, something like that. They sell uh, dual electric fans, 16 inch fans. I'm not sure of the CFM on them, but um, I might be getting those depending on how the um, MBS fans come out as far as mounting them so if anybody anybody out there has a freaking idea on how to mount mbs fans on an obs let me know i'm all ears i'm looking to get them mounted um i want to get mine mounted uh, for this truck and i'm not going to use a nelson harness i'm going to use a um generic harness so to speak for them um, but I want to run, you know, three relays for them. Want to? I want to uh, run a high speed, low speed, and I think the third one is the AC. I think also too. I want to have that tied into the fans also. Um, I contacted a company. They make a um, harness kit for the OBS. I mean, the MBS fans to work with the OBS trucks, but. Um, they're not a big seller for some reason, so I'm kind of wondering what's up with that. Um, I might use a, a temperature probe, putting radiator fans to cut off. I might want, I might use one of those. Maybe I don't know, but like I said, if anybody has any idea on how to mount NBS fans in an OBS, let me know, cause I am fucking curious how to do this. Shit. I know you got to cut the ears off the top of the top of the fan shroud. Um, and then get you a plate, you know, some kind of plate, whatever. I don't know. Flex Light has a plate I looked at. It's probably kind of like pre made. I thought about getting that, but I don't really know. Too sure. I'm not too sure about that. So, yeah. Uh, like I said, that was an update for you guys on the Silverado with the alternator AD244 swap. This works. Um, so far, I think it only works on Vortec motors from this generation. So you have like 96 to 90. It's so like 2,000 Tahoe Limiteds, you know, is, is anyone, whatever. Um, as long as it has a Vortec 350 in it, it should work. Um, the part number, like I said, is 1N4812. That is the part number. It's a 145 amp alternator. And the belt also, like I said before, is, um, there's a the belt right there. That is the belt number. Uh, I know um, AutoZone has the same radio, same uh, alternator, but for some reason theirs didn't work with my truck. I think the plug was different because I know mine has the rounded edges on them. That was a square port plug type plug-in thing, so that didn't work for me. So um, this one works fine. Got no charging issues with it. I'm happy, I'm cool with it. All right, y'all. Peace out. Be easy. That's my update probably for the weekend i might should have video tomorrow with the e-fans if i do it tomorrow or sunday whatever so i'll catch you guys later peace out